Hello and welcome back to another net worth update video here on MTT Finance. And if you remember from my latest money goals video that I posted earlier this week, you might have saw that I made a goal to have a net worth of negative $10,000 by the end of the year. Currently, I'm at a negative net worth of negative $39,000. Uh, this is going to be quite a leap to get to negative $10,000. But I thank you guys so much for watching. Let's jump right in and start plugging in some numbers to see how the month of August panned out for my net worth. So here is a site all too familiar for many of my viewers here on the channel. This is my net worth tracking spreadsheet that I made here in Google Sheets. And I've updated a couple things since you guys last saw it, which is the all important appearance of it. As you can see, I put some a little emojis for each of these different categories, which I think makes doing net worth tracking all the more enjoyable to have cute little emojis here. But let's go ahead and start punching in the numbers for the month of August. And I've decided to do things a little bit different this month instead of starting with my asset column, which is, I say, the good news. Let's start with the bad news, which is my liabilities, the amount of debt I have. Kicking things off for the Sally May loan. Currently, it is sitting at $21,136.80. There we go. And the spreadsheet is working as it should. It's already starting to calculate the total amount of debt. So that's my Sally May loan. My government loan, which if you guys might have heard, government loans for student loans will be once again becoming due uh, January 2022, which is just around the corner. That leaves us about four more months to pay off private loans and, and for me to designate all my money towards my private loans. So I'm trying to get rid of private loans as quickly as I possibly can. But no change so far with my government loan. It still sits at $71,407 and... 15 cents. Moving on down the list, my car loan, if you guys remember last month, the big update that I posted was that I no longer have a car loan, but I'm still leaving this line here in my net worth tracker, just as a reminder to myself and to you guys that, uh, I guess through hard work and persistence and, and saving, uh, you can clear off big chunks of debt. And that's encouraging to myself. Uh, as I look at this spreadsheet and sometimes think, wow, I am very deep, but I am making little and sometimes even big punches and steps forward, moving towards a positive net worth. So that's exciting, but I'm going to leave it in here. So my car loan for the month of August is zero, which is good because on the red side of things, we want things to say zero. My mortgage, I calculated it before posting. No, I didn't. Moving on down the list to my mortgage, my mortgage loan, and that currently is sitting at $135,057.22. Boom. And that actually completes my liabilities column. That's the bad news of things, like I said. And currently we have a... <laughs> a liability list, a debt total of $227,601.17, which is a lot. So let's go ahead to the good news. Let's go on and look at my asset column. These are the things that I own, the things that either make money or hold money and hold value. And this is what's going to push my net worth in the positive direction. So let's go ahead and start punching in some of these numbers. Now, for my 401k, which you guys can see, July was the first month that I had a value for my 401k column, and it has continued to grow since that time. For the month of August, I checked prior to filming, it is currently at $1,418.24. Boom. Excellent. That's really good. That's a nice little jump there in my asset column. My house... Same old, same old, I'm not doing a thing yet. That's not right, can't type. There we go, $160,000. My car, I probably should take another look at this. 
Uh, it's been quite a while since I started to estimate the value of my car with some online retailers, and I might need to go back in and do a quick little search to see if this number still holds true, but currently $16,500 for my vehicle. And Google Sheets is having a difficult time typing what I'm telling it to. There. 16,500 dollars. Third time's a charm, yes it is. There we go. Now savings and cash, this one did unfortunately move down a little bit. I think it's because at the time of filming my last month's net worth update video, I had just received both paychecks and made no payments towards my bills. And this month I'm doing it after I have paid all my bills and used my paychecks to pay off some student loan debt. But currently the amount of cash I have is sitting at right here, $9,598.76. Boom. Moving on down the list to the investment portion of my asset column. And beginning with my TD Ameritrade Roth IRA account, it's a retirement account, but I'm not really funding it at this point. And so any investment that happens here or any growth that happens is purely just from whatever's going on in the market. And currently this is sitting at $1,133.24. And then the next investment account I have, once again, this is not being funded. I funded this last year, but due to me wanting just to be more aggressive with paying off my debt, I haven't done any form of investing really other than my 401k, of course, but my TD Ameritrade regular taxable uh, in investment account currently is sitting at, this one went down, $2,434.31. Boom, there it is. Uh, and I think the reason that went down is because there's some crazy stuff going on in the market right now. Uh, the market's been on a little bit of a downturn, particularly with the investments that I own, which are just particular stocks that usually pay out a dividend. Stay tuned for my budget update videos as I break down a little bit of my dividend income, but my dividend income goes right back into the stock market to purchase more of those stocks that pay dividends. So as we can take a look and see down at the total value here, I'll kind of move the mouse over it. The total value for my asset column for the month of August is $191,084.56. Now, if we take a look at the rest of the months here from April to May, June, July, we can see that it is lower than what it was for those months, well, other than July but that's because I used a huge chunk of cash in my savings to pay off my car loan. Because now if you look down here and you look at these numbers, you'll see that that amount of money for my car loan, which was around $7,600, is now missing from my total debt column. So it kind of evens itself out. It's not really anything to be worried about that there's such a drastic change from a couple months ago to the August net worth number. That's totally normal. That's what the that comes with the territory of paying off massive amounts of debt and kind of doing a big debt snowball to get rid of a monthly payment. But that's good. That's what we want. So if we take a look over here, we now have to plug it in the August total net worth because we don't know that yet. We just know how much my assets are and how much my liabilities are. It's quite easy to figure it out. We just got to subtract the liabilities from my assets. So let's go ahead and do that now. If you don't know what I'm doing, I'm just putting in a simple math equation so that the spreadsheet spits out the correct number. Boom, it did it. No, I don't want to autofill. Get, a, get away from me. And as we can see for the month of August, my net worth is negative $36,516.61. Moving completely in the right direction. Uh, that's a change from the previous month, it spits it out here, of $2,660.97. That's great. And like I said at the beginning of the video, there wasn't a huge big swing or change like there was last month because last month I made a big change with paying off my car loan. 
This month, it's just been more of the routine, normal financial month of paying off student loan debts, budgeting, and making sure that everything stays on track. As we move down to my net worth little visual graph I have here, I like visuals. And as we can see, it just plotted, because I programmed it to, it plotted a little star for the month of August at the negative $36,000 mark. And we are trending in the right direction. Once again, don't worry that the star is below the line. That's just because we used a lot of our assets to pay off some of the liabilities last month, but we're working towards the positive direction. A lot of times, especially for people like me in my situation, student coming out of college with a ton of student loan debt, the way to increase your net worth is to get rid of your student loan debts because that's what's gonna chew up so much of your net worth and really drag your net worth into the negative. That's why I'm paying off my student loans so aggressively. I make multiple videos about that. Go ahead and watch them. I have a whole playlist. I will try to leave a link to that in the description down below. Also, if you guys would like to take a look at my money goals for the remaining months of 2021 going into 2022, be sure to check this video out right here.